It's more of a time. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, Guess Here. So today's video is going to be um, this Power Rangers inspired pink monochromatic look. Um, this is in collaboration with a few of my Ipsy OS ladies um, and we all did different colors of the Power Rangers rainbow. So yes, definitely check out their videos, they will be linked down below um, and you should have seen a preview of their looks in my intro. So yes, I loved Power Rangers growing up, my siblings and I watched it. Um, my niece and nephew right now watch it and they're like five and four years old so yeah this show is lit i watched mighty morphin turbo um lost in space and i think no i mean lost galaxy and in space those are two different ones um and then i think after that we didn't really watch it anymore but love mighty morphin of course i picked pink because i wanted to be kimberly as i was when i was younger like i love to be the pink ranger um because there was no purple ranger um but anyway so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I had a lot of fun creating it. It's super pink. I would not wear this outside normally, but yes. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Alright guys, I'm starting off with my NYX white eyeliner and I'm going to use this as a base for all of my shadows. The original um, Pink Ranger and Mighty Morphin had uh pink and white in her costume so i'm gonna start off with the white base just to keep the colors pretty bright for this look so i'm using that all over my lid i'm going to bring it up into my crease just a little bit and then i'm going to blend it out with my finger After that, I'm going to set this pencil with my um, shadow from Anastasia's Modern Renaissance Palette. And this is pretty much, like it looks pretty white, but it has like a slight tint of pink in it. So I'm using that all over my lid, bringing it up into my crease, and then just blending it upward with this large crease brush, which I tend to use these days. It's because it covers a lot of ground um, at once, and it's good for blending out shadows as well. Now I'm going into my e.l.f. Dark Blush Palette and I'm taking that pink color. This is going to be the first pink that I apply on my eyes and I'm going to start off on my outer crease and bring it all the way to my inner crease in that buffing motion and then windshield wiper motions as well. Now I'm going into my BH Cosmetics Eyes on the 80s Palette and I'm taking that lighter pink and I'm doing the same thing that I did with that first color from the blush palette. But I'm focusing this color more towards my outer corner instead of going all the way inward like I did with the first pink. And I'm just concentrating it and building up this pink color on my outer V. Now I'm going back in with that darker color and now I'm taking switching brushes going to a smaller denser brush just so that the color will be even more pigmented. And I'm focusing this one even closer to my outer V and bringing it downward onto my lid a little bit more. This is just going to make the pink more intense and concentrated. And I'm just blending it in, just making sure these shadows look seamless. Now I'm taking a shader brush and I just wet it with some e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. And I am going in with uh, that. This one is a light shimmery pink. I'm going to place this all over my lid. All 
right now I'm actually gonna take my the Balm Cosmetics Neat Matte Hughes Liquid Lipstick and dedicate it. It's this fuchsia pink, kind of like what's on my nails. I'm gonna take a very small um, angle brush. This one is from Luxie. I'm gonna use this as my eyeliner. So it's very easy to turn a uh, liquid lipstick into an eyeliner. All you need is a good angled brush and yeah, line your eyelids. This is supposed to be like a monochromatic look as well. That's why I chose to do pink liner. Now I'm taking uh, the pointer side of my dual ended crown brush and I'm just going to go in with those first of matte colors on the outer um, third of my bottom lash line and then I'm going to go in with the shimmery color that I use for my lid of the inner, not really third, half of my eye on the bottom lash line. So I'm just going to make sure I blend in where those two shadows meet. And now I'm going to take my smudge brush and I'm going to take that like pink shimmery pink and I'm going to take that lighter shimmery pink and that lighter shimmery pink and I'm going to put those in my inner corner as my pretty much, pretty much inner corner highlight. So I'm going to take the blending brush that comes in the Modern Renaissance palette and that beige color that I always use for my brow bone area and blend that into my brow bone area and then I also put some of that shimmery pink in that area I just didn't show that now mascara today I'm using my covergirl super fibers mascara I just wanted the shadows to be the main focus of this look so that's why I did that uh, it does show a little bit more in person, it doesn't pick up on my camera as well. I like this um, mascara because it lengthens my lashes, so yeah, that's what I chose to use. So for blush, I use the dark pink that I use, the first color that I use on my shadows as my blush. And for highlight, I use the Balm Cosmetics Betty Luminizer. So for my lippy, I use the same lippy I use for my eyeliner, which is the Balm Cosmetics Dedicated. It's this hot fuchsia pink, and I love it, yes. And I was listening to more life while filming this, so that explains my random dance moves at some times. The last thing I did was just apply some white eyeliner, the same next one that I use as the base for my shadows, um, in my waterline, just so that it can make my eyes pop just a little bit more. Then I applied some bottom mascara, and that is the finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to check out the other girls' videos. Are you gonna be watching um, the Power Rangers movie in theaters this weekend? Let me know. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.